story time. What? It's time for story time. For story time. Oh no, I'm doing story time today. Okay. Oh, you're you're already here. Oh, okay. All right. So, welcome to story time. We're doing night animals today. So I am a little bit of a night animal myself. So I apologize for sleeping in just a little bit. I I don't like to be awake during the day like a lot of our night animals. Um, but where was I? Oh, I'm Miss Genevieve. I'm so happy you're here. Let's do our opening song. All right, can you make some books with your hands? Good job. All right. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your books are my books and my books are your books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Good job. Can you sing it with me now? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your books are my books and my books are your books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Good job, you guys. All right, so we are gonna start by reading the book Night Animals by Gianna Marino. And we are gonna be introduced to some of my friends. All right. So we are going to meet some other night animals. We can see a few already. Over here we have, he's black with white stripes all the way down his tail. And you'll notice that sometimes they're really, really smelly. That's right. Skunks are night animals. All right. Hey, possum. What are you doing in there? Shh. I'm hiding. Well, what are we hiding from? Night animals. Now keep quiet. Can you move over? Let's just find somewhere else. <sighs> All right. <gasps> Did you guys hear something? Are you trying to scare me? Oh, oh, oh! Help me! Who's asking for help? Over here. Oh, that's right. It's a wolf. They're also night animals. Skunk says, help you? You're a wolf. But something is following me. <gasps> what is it? What could it be? It's big and hairy with long, sharp claws. <gasps> oh my gosh. Do you guys know any animals that are big and hairy and have sharp claws and like to be awake at night? I'm thinking, hmm, it's a bear, you guys. You guys gotta help me though. Something huge is coming. Well, what could be bigger than a bear? And why is the sky getting darker? Night animals, run! Hide! Ooh, I'd be running and hiding too. I don't know what's bigger than a, than a bear, but stop! Oh, who's yelling stop? Do you see him up here? Who is that? Let's turn the page and find out. What are you so scared of? scared of the night animals. Oh, they're, they're holding each other. They're so scared. 
But you are night animals. Did you guys figure out who they were afraid of? Look, it's a little bat. They were afraid of a little bat. Oh. So we know a bear, a wolf, a possum, and a skunk, and a bat are all night animals. But there's someone else out there in the night with them. Over here, I see a green tent. Do you know any animals that sleep in tents? Hmm. Did you hear something? Run! Ah! And everyone runs away. There we go. That's Night Animals by Gianna Marino. All right. You know what else comes out at night other than animals? I got a bunch of them right behind me. Can you, can you guess? That's right, stars. So I wanna share a song with you. We're gonna sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can you get your hands ready? Your twinklers ready? Perfect. All right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, you guys. So there's another thing that comes out at night during the summers, and it makes its own twinkle. Do you know of anything else that twinkles? Fireflies like to twinkle, and I think my friend Miss Megan has a song about fireflies. Here you go. Hi friends, I'm Miss Megan. Thanks for joining me. Look at what's on my shoulder. A firefly just landed on my shoulder. Some people call him a lightning bug because he has a light on his backside that flashes to attract other lightning bugs to come near. Do you wanna learn more about fireflies or lightning bugs? Yeah! Come on then. We're gonna sing our first song with Miss Megan called Fireflies Flash, okay? This is to the tune of Three Blind Mice. We're gonna do it a couple times and we're gonna flash our hands just like we did with Miss Genevieve and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here we go. Fireflies flash, fireflies flash. They flash over here, they flash over there. They flash up high and they flash down low. Around and around and around they go. They flash fast and they flash slow. Fireflies flash. Do you wanna do it one more time? Okay, here we go. Fireflies flash. Fireflies flash. They flash over here and they flash over there. They flash up high and they flash down low. Around and around and around they go. They flash fast and they flash slow. Fireflies flash. Very good. Great song, guys. Well, we have been learning about a lot of nighttime animals today, and I'm going to continue with that. We have our word on the board behind us. The word is night, and it's spelled like this. Can you see the letters? N I G H T. Can you spell it with me? 
N I G H T. Very good. That spells night. And I bet when it's nighttime, the sun goes down and you have to go to bed, right? Well, some animals do the opposite. When the sun goes down, they wake up and they start to look for food. And these animals that stay awake at night and sleep during the day are called nocturnal. This big long word behind me. Can we say nocturnal? It's very long. Try it. Nocturnal. Good. Let's see if we can spell nocturnal. N-O-C-T-U-R-N-A-L. Woo! Nocturnal. And these two words have one letter in common. Do you know what it is? The first letter, the letter N. Can you make an N in the air with me? A straight line up and slant it down and back up. Do it one more time. Up, slanted, back up. And in, nocturnal, very good. Okay, well, we're gonna read our next book called Nighttime Animals, but before we do, grown-ups, if you're listening, this book is nonfiction, which means it's a real book. It has pictures of real animals, and there are lots of vocabulary words in here. Some words you may have never heard before, but books are great ways for you to use repetition to hear new words over and over again, and then you'll slowly start to learn what they mean by putting them together with the pictures. So I'm gonna scoot up so we can see these really cool pictures really, really closely. Nocturnal Animals by DK Publishers. Here we go. I love using nonfiction, even for our littlest friends. It's a great way to learn. So here we go. The sun sets. See the sun? The sky is getting orangey. The nighttime animals wake up. I can see some of them. It's time to eat. So they're hungry when you're going to bed. Isn't that silly? Our first one is coyote. There is a picture of a coyote right there. And coyotes run and hunt and they call to each other. They go, howl. Can you howl with me? Howl. Very good. Next we have an owl. I bet you've heard or seen an owl before. And owls look and listen. They have very large eyes to look. And they swoop in to catch an animal. So they have big wings and they swoosh in and land on a branch or grab their animal with their claw feet that they call talons. Can you hold up your, your owl talons? Very good. And what do owl say? Hoo, 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 hoo. Very good. Next we have moths, M-O-T-H, a moth. It's not a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly. They fly around in the moonlight. Can you flap your wings? Very good. They are attracted to light. If you have a flashlight or a lantern, they will fly to it at night. And this moth has red wings. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. What is this guy with his tail? That's not a lizard, that's a scorpion. Can you say scorpion? Scorpion. And scorpions lift their stingers. Their stinger is at the very end of their tail. It's a little red thing right there. And they are ready to attack their animal with their tail. And they use their front claws, kind of like a lobster, to rip up the animal and have some food. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, that's how they eat. They don't have a fork and a knife, so they have to use their claws. And now we have this guy, right? It's a snake. This one's called a boa constrictor. Boa constrictors slither along a branch and search for food. Can you make a tss, hiss sound like a snake? Tss, very good. Now we have a kind of monkey, lorises. Lorises see in the dark with wide open eyes. Very, very large eyes. Can you pretend to open your eyes wide? 
And look, this guy's eating a banana. How silly. Oh, I bet you've seen them before. These are raccoons, right? Raccoons scamper. They move really fast around on the logs and they will eat any food that they can find. So they have claws and they have a long striped tail and remember their masks? They have black around their eyes. Very good, raccoon. And now we have cute little possums. Possums scurry around with their joeys. So joeys are their babies and their babies are carried on their back. Have you ever ridden on your grown-ups back before? Sounds like fun. Oh, next we have bats. Very good. They fly around at night. Can you flap your bat wings? And they squeak through their noses. See his nose right there? He goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Kind of funny, huh? Next we have an aardvark. Aardvark. Aardvark smell the ants and termites that they like to eat with their nose. Except they have a special kind of nose. It's very, very long. So they can smell really well in the dirt to find little bugs to eat. And last one, leopards. See the big cat? He's got spots all over him. Leopard, a leopard hunts alone. Its glowing eyes can see very well. See how they glow? Oh man. So, finally, the sun rises. And look what happens. Daylight comes in and the nighttime animals go to sleep. It's been a busy day. Very good, yay. So it's the opposite. When you're awake, they're asleep. And when you go to sleep, they wake up and look for food. I bet you didn't know there are so many active animals at night. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do just a couple more songs. We have some sleeping friends over here. Like I just mentioned, you know who this guy is? Oh, he's got the black mask and the striped tail. A raccoon, very good. He was asleep over here on our pillow. Go back to sleep, little raccoon. Night, night. There he goes. They're sleeping soundly. And over here on our tree, we have this guy, an owl. And this is actually a snowy owl. And snowy owls actually are not nocturnal. They eat during the day, just like everyone else. But other types of owls are nocturnal and eat at night. So we're gonna sing about other types of owls that eat at night. And this song is called Just Like an Owl. So we're gonna do what he does. So first we're gonna flap our wings and you can get up and do this if you want to. I'm gonna stay seated. So we're gonna to sing to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down, ready? Flap your wings and fly around, fly around, fly around. Flap your wings and fly around, just like an owl. Very good. Now we're gonna open our eyes up big and wide. Open our eyes up big and wide, big and wide, big and wide. Open our eyes up big and wide, just like an owl. Great. Then we're gonna land on the ground and hop around. You can get up and jump if you want. Land on the ground and hop around, hop around, hop around. Land on the ground and hop around, just like an owl. Awesome job. And the last one, is turn your head and say, hoo hoo. Our owl can turn all the way around, but just turn as far as you want to. Turn your head and say, hoo hoo. Say, hoo hoo. Say, hoo hoo. Turn your head and say, hoo hoo. Just like an owl. Very good. He's gonna fly back to his tree. Bye, Mr. Owl. And we have one last song with one of my favorites. These guys usually sleep hanging upside down, usually in caves, but this is our friend the bat. Okay, so
So I know you don't have a, a bat hanging around, but you can get a scarf or a Kleenex or really anything near you to use for this song, okay? So this song is called, There's a Bat in the Air, and we're gonna place them on different body parts, okay? Or you can use your hands if you wanna flap your wings that way. So here we go. There's a bat in the air, in the air. There's a bat in the air, in the air. There's a bat in the air. Now he's flying on my hair. Can you put it on your head? There's a bat in the air, in the air. Great. And now we're gonna do on our leg. There's a bat on my leg, on my leg. There's a bat on my leg, on my leg. There's a bat on my leg, and he is pretty big. There's a bat on my leg, on my leg. Great. And we're gonna do it on our hand. There's a bat on my hand, on my hand. There's a bat on my hand, on my hand. There's a bat on my hand, and now he is my friend. Hi, bat. There's a bat on my hand, on my hand. And last but not least, our tummies. Ready? There's a bat on my tummy, on my tummy. There's a bat on my tummy, on my tummy. There's a bat on my tummy. And now he'll fly to mommy, or daddy, or grandma and grandpa, whoever's in the room with you. Put him on your grown up. There's a bat on my tummy, on my tummy. Yay, very good. Oh. Our bat is flying away. Where is he going? Oh my goodness. Bye bye friends, we'll see you next time. Where is he going? What? what? No. That bat was way too close to my hair. No, thank you. All right. Hi you guys. Good to see you again. All right. I have another book to read with you guys. This one's called Hooray for Today by Brian Wan. All right, this sounds like my kind of book. I'm wide awake and ready to play, said Owl. This will be a good, good day. But is it daytime? Nighttime, silly. She packed her toys and set off to find her friends. Owl knocked on Elephant's door. Hooray for today! I have my hat. Would you like to play? Do you think Elephant's going to want to play? Let's find out. But Elephant did not want to play. Not now. I'm sleepy. So Owl tucked Elephant back in and whispered, maybe another day. Good night, Elephant. So nice. Then Owl found Zebra. Hooray for today! Can you guys say that with me? Hooray for today! I have my trumpet. Would you like to play? What do you think Zebra's gonna say? But Zebra did not want to play. Not now. I'm sleepy. So Owl tooted a lullaby and whispered, maybe another day. Sleep tight, Zebra. What lullaby would you sing to Zebra? Can you sing it for me? That's lovely. Then Owl found Turtle. Hooray for today! I have balloons. Would you like to play? But Turtle did not want to play. Not now, I'm sleepy. So Owl rocked Turtle to sleep and whispered, maybe another day. Sweet dreams, Turtle. Then Owl found Giraffe. Hooray for today. I have some books. Would you like to play? What do you think Giraffe's gonna say? But 
Giraffe did not want to play. Not now, I'm sleepy. So Owl read a story and whispered, maybe another day. Nighty night, Giraffe. Do you have a favorite bedtime story? Go ahead and say it now. I like that one too. Right on. All right, let's see who Owl finds next. When Owl found Lion, she couldn't even hoot a single word before Lion growled. Uh, not now, I'm sleepy. So Owl whispered, okay, maybe another day. Rest well, Lion, and tiptoed away. I don't think I would want to mess with Lion either. So Owl shouted into the night, hoo, hoo, hooray for today. Can anyone come out to play? See? Oh, poor Owl is out here by herself. And what's that? I see the moon over here. So that means, oh, nighttime's almost over. Today is a bad, bad day, Owl said. Nobody wants to play. And finally, as the sun came up, she walked back home. Where her friends were waiting. Good morning, Owl, they all shouted. Would you like to play? Owl yawned. Not now, I'm sleepy. But after my nap, hooray, let's play. The end. How about that? Did you guys like this story? I really like this one. All right. Well, after all that excitement, thanks for coming and reading and singing some songs and sharing stories with me and some of your favorite things to do at night and I think it's about time for me to go back to sleep. So we're going to read, we're going to sing our goodbye song. All right. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, grown-ups. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, grown-ups. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good night, you guys.